Hiya, Dishies. I haven't been to Goodwill in a very long time. Would you like to look around with me and see what they have? I really liked these retro dishes. Oh my gosh, I just love dishes. But where do you put all these cups and saucers? And how much were these? I kept, I was trying to find who made them and either the tape was over it. I think they were $1.99 each. Carol, I know I'm not the only one that thinks of you every time I see one of these vintage clocks. And yes, this one was cute, but it was $2.49. I don't know, would you have bought it? To me, it just doesn't cut the muster for the types of clocks that are in your collection. I haven't found any good mugs in quite a while. I thought those were kind of cute. This was interesting. This was a handmade piece, a pitcher. Look how thick that clay is. And it was heavily, heavily crazed. This would be really cute for someone who sews or someone who is in construction. I don't know, I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know that um, maker, but I still think that might have been vintage. I think it might have been from the 90s. Do you see anything? Do you see any that I'm missing? <laughs> More retro dishes. Oh man, back in the day, I would have bought all of these dishes. <laughs> but the problem with dishes and dish sets is where do you put them? Even if you change them out from time to time. This had a lot of wear on it and I didn't like it as much as some of the other things here. Here's some more. I'm trying to find the maker. Aha. What does it say? California Brockware. I'm going to look that up and I'll try to write something in here so you can see when those were made. They look very mid-century to me. These I think are new core and they're strawberries. These are very well-made dishes. Oh, this. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now that I did not buy it, but I loved it. I have another giant restaurant wear plate just like that one, and I use it every day. Look at this fun, groovy recipe box. It's very shiny. I thought this would be cute for someone that keeps little treats for their dogs. I keep treats for my dogs, but they're in a big, giant plastic bin because I have big dogs and they love treats. Adorable cup and saucer. I think that's like a Scottish thistle. But where do you put it? Oh, this piece. This piece I pick up every time I go into Goodwill. It's been here for months. And I think, why didn't I get that last time? There's a crack on it. What do you think of this, of this? It looked kind of retro to me, and maybe it was. It didn't have a maker's mark on it. I liked the color, the green and the splatter, but I wasn't too sure about the floral on the one side. Remember I found one of these at the tip? Same thing. I don't know if it's an ashtray or you hang it on the wall. I just didn't really see myself selling it or hanging on to it. This little bunny was very, very sweet. He would be really cute for Easter time. I don't know where he went there. Okay, look at this guy. 
This has to be circa 1977. Don't you think so? It's a candle. I'm trying to get to this piece of glass here, which looks like it could be turn of the century, kind of carnival glass era, you know, the 19 teens. And I couldn't decide if it was actually older or just meant to look older. Ultimately, I left it there. I think it was, yeah, it was $8.99. And I just left it there because one, even if it was vintage, it wouldn't sell for very much. It would be a bear to ship and I wouldn't have any use for it. This is a modern piece. I think it was from Home Goods or Ross or something like that. It's a vase, obviously, but it really was nice. The color was really, really pretty. I don't have any use for it, and I don't resell items like that, so I just left it behind. I was not going to buy this, but I had to look at it because Snoopy always makes me happy. I love Snoopy. This was a very nice mid-century piece. I really liked that, and I would have liked to have seen more pieces of that. Um, Imperial Deluxe Sango. They make nice dishes. It really is pretty with the Greek key. Very mid-century looking. I don't know when it was actually made. This was a retro ice bucket. It was aluminum, and... It appealed to me, but it was in really rough shape. It had a lot of scratches, and the handles were very faded. I'm not sure if they were wood or plastic. I can't see what that says. Can you see that? Here's another one of these. I bought one, and I haven't sold it because I want to keep one. Maybe I'll pick this up. Where's the price? Here we go. $2.99. That's not bad. Okay, I am sorry, but I had to show you this. Look at this thing. Townsend Fish Skinner. Oh, and look. There are fish remnants, fish skin remnants, right there on it still. I'm hungry. Look at this fun mid-century piece. Isn't this fun? I love these old trays. This one had some kind of lamps or something on it. You would put your cocktails or your hors d'oeuvres on there and hand them out at your, at your party. They had a lot of molds here today. And my friend Laura at Vintage Thrifted Treasures, she just picked up a whole bunch of very cool vintage molds and hung them on her wall in her kitchen and they look amazing i wish i had picked these up especially this one this wheat one wouldn't that be nice for fall but a fact you may not know about me is well not about me but there is no wall space in my kitchen I really liked this cute little canister with its little checkered top and the teapots on it. It was only $1.39. I don't know if you can hear the rattling in there, but the knob was missing. It was not inside. I thought this had kind of a 70s vibe, but no, it probably came from Home Goods or someplace like that. I liked it though. I like this little section. They have little treasures hiding here sometimes. This was a sad thing that I found here today. Can you tell what this is? I know this was a lovely molded brass sconce and someone painted it this glossy baby blue and they did a terrible job of it. So sad. I would have bought the Mary Englebright teapot because her items do sell pretty well, but of course it had a big chip in it.
I come to the clear glass section, I always spend some time and look at everything. There are always vintage pieces anywhere from 1910 all the way up to contemporary times. And they don't sell for much and I don't really have a use for any more stuff than I already have. But I like to enjoy, enjoy it. Look at this. Is it Fostoria? Is it Jeanette? Doesn't matter. It would look great on your holiday table, full of your dinner rolls. Oh, look at these. Do you like these little fish luncheon plates? I am very drawn to them and I think they are so cute. Wouldn't they be cute to serve your tuna sandwich on? I wonder what the cups look like. Now this I don't know. I should have probably bought this. I'll tell you right now that I didn't. It's, I think, an Anchor Hawking pitcher. It's pretty plain, but boy, isn't it really cute? This looks like it's a depression glass sugar. I don't know if it had a lid or not. Would have been great with the pitcher. I probably would have bought that if it had the creamer with it. There's always a wonderful selection of punch bowls with the cups. I think they sell them for 14 something or at 14.79 or 14.99. This was a planter. It had a plastic sleeve inside of it and someone had crocheted this funky boot over it. I don't sell things like this, but this was really pretty. It says four calling birds. It was $8.99 and it had these beautiful mugs with a gold image of different birds on them. I thought they were very, very pretty. Okay, I did buy this. It reminded me of folders that I used to buy back in the 70s when I was in elementary school. I it's not an old one. It's it just looks like an old one. Yeah. These are cute. I thought these would be cute to use for package toppers. They're very fall with the little woodland creatures. This little guy was so so cute. He's a teapot. He's a teapot. But he had a crack in him. Oh, it was so sad because he was really, really cute. There are some other things over here, some little made in Japan pieces that were very cute, but everything was damaged. You see me really looking over these seahorses. They are terribly gaudy and kitschy, and these would definitely be something to resell, and I really liked them. But alas, and I looked them over, I was looking them over, and I grabbed them, I put them in my cart, but the little nose on one of them had been repaired. So all these little things I'm looking at, it was another little salt and pepper and a caddy, they were all damaged. Well, that's about all I have time for here today, but I want you to see these fabulous turkey platters. Do you have a turkey platter? Do you use it at Thanksgiving? Let me know in the comments below. I love them. I do not have one because I wouldn't know where to keep it when it's not the holidays. Well, thank you so much for looking at things with me today. Come back next time and I'll show you the very few things that I picked up today. I wonder if you can guess. Ta everyone.